Hey Youtubers, this is Tyler. In this video I will review the Keyphone i6 LTE that I got from Fastcat Tech. Please look down in the video description for more info and a link. So uh, this phone, it is also known as the Goofoon uh, i6 and the Vico i6. So this phone comes with a 4.7 inch QHD IPS screen. But the resolution is not HD, it's only 960 by 540 pixels. It wants the MTK6572 dual core 1.3 GHz. It only comes with the 512 MB RAM and 4 GB storage. So the hardware is not uh, that high, it's a very low spec phone and uh, it has it all just in the design. So this phone was actually made in China and uh, they made this phone of all the samples and uh, all the concepts on the internet. So this is how they think the final iPhone 6 maybe will look like. Maybe we will see some extra thing in the top I think because here it's pretty plain. So uh, let us take a closer look on the physical uh, aspect here. On the top here we have the speaker, we have a proximity sensor and a front facing camera and uh, I think the front facing camera is uh, below 1 megapixel to be honest I don't think it's uh, that high. We have um, a 4.7 inch uh, QHD screen here, we have the home button, here in the bottom we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack, the microphone, then we also have the charging data port here and we have the speaker. So you can charge the phone here with the, the original Apple uh, cable. So here on this side we have the mute button, we have the volume walkers. In the top we have nothing, it's just plain. On this side we have the SIM tray and we have the power button. On the back we see a 2 megapixel camera, a reset hole and a LED flash. Then we see the Apple logo here on the back side. Down here we have the iPhone text together with design by Apple in California, made in China and we see the FCC CE logos. Ok let us take a look now on the UI and uh, we see here it looks uh, typical for Apple phones, for iPhones, we have all the, the icons, we have the font. Also we see slide to unlock and you can go to the camera directly from here. You can uh, swipe up to start the camera. This phone has no uh, touch ID but uh, you can simulate it by just holding your, your finger here. And it will unlock like this. Of course it's fake. The phone is running uh, Android with uh, some kind of uh, iOS 8 skin on top and uh, the speed is not the best, you can see here, it's not the smoothest but it's ok I think, you can use it. You can double tap on this button here to go to the overview and uh, you can hold to start Google Voice, it's not Siri. Also you can uh, like swipe down here, okay, like this, and uh, you will get the search bar. You can uh, swipe up from the bottom here, and you will get something that looks like the media hub from the uh, iPhone. So you can control different settings here. Also swipe down here in the notification bar and you will get notifications here. You can see the calendar. You also notice that the icons look exactly like on the iOS 7. Let us take a look again on the task manager. Here you can see last opened. So you can always just swipe up to close it. You can see the last contacts here, 
the reasons. Go back again. And uh, of course we have here this. So you can always use this to go back because there are no back buttons or menu buttons here. So this is to go back. You can go into the settings here. And if you click here, you will have, have the menu button here also. So uh, when you're in the app, you can use this to open the menu or go back. Or you can use the home key and you can lock the screen and turn up the volume and so on. Of course, this can also be disabled in the settings. So this skin is the iOS 8. To show this, I will go to the settings here. Let's take a look here in general. Let's say about. And uh, here we see it is version 8.0. So you see here we have settings like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, carrier, controls, control. Here you can uh, enable, customize how this in the bottom here should appear. Some of these settings are of course uh, fake. They are just in the menus but will not do anything. Here we have the brightness control, the wallpaper. But I must say many of the settings do work and uh, they have a function actually, so that's uh, pretty nice. One thing is you can go into the general here and let's take a look here in the keyboard. If you go here and press user dictionary, we will come to this and go back. You will switch to the keyboard, you can go back again. And suddenly you are actually in the settings for Android. You can see the settings are all different here. I think this uh, ROM is based on the S4 because many of these things are not things uh, we see on iPhones normally. We suddenly we have access to about phone here and we can see it says 4.4.2 but actually it's just 4.2 Jelly Bean. See it here. Let's go back. Things like uh, software and system updates. And here we see i 9500. Of course it doesn't have any NFC, but the settings are here, for some reason. I think many of these settings uh, don't uh, actually work on this phone, but haven't tried them all, so I can't say for sure. So now I'm getting a call. So uh, let us quickly go through the apps here. First we have uh, messaging and it looks like this. Let's go back again. Then we have calendar. Then we have the gallery. And here you see video. I can try to play a video. I will turn down the volume here. This is what from, from a live uh, concert, so you can pop up here, you can see it also support pop-up window. So let's go back here. Back again. Here you see the gallery. Take a look on the screen quality. Actually, the screen is not that bad. It's not uh, HD. It is, uh, actually, the, um, the colors are vivid and uh, the screen is pretty sharp, um, despite it's not uh, full HD or something like that. Let's take a look on the camera app. It's 
so the camera just look, looks like uh, on uh, iOS uh, 7. Then we have the weather. Let's take a look on the clock. Like this, world clock. Then we have maps and uh, it's actually just uh, Google Maps. We have videos. So here, see the videos. And we have notepad. It's also just normal here. We have a uh, reminder. Then we can take a look on the stock. We have a uh, YouTube. We have newsstand. And the newsstand works. You can download and buy books. You can open a book here. You can use the volume workers to change the size. You can just do like this. You can click here. You get different option settings here. Day and night. Let's take a look here and go back here. In the store, you can download more books and it actually works. There are also free books, so that's nice. We have the App Store. And the App Store is just uh, the Play Store. Then we have Passbook. We have Compass. The Compass doesn't work really. Don't think it's functional at all. Then we have uh, Contacts. Then some apps uh, that I installed because I rooted the phone, mo mobile angle and root explorer. That settings. Let's take a look in the phone dialer. Let's take a look here. Looks like in iOS 7. We have email. Then we have Safari. It's just uh, this Android uh, browser, of course, it's not a uh, real Safari. We have the music player. Also looks like something we know from uh, iPhone. Then we also have FaceTime and FaceTime will, will work. We have File Manager here. We have Facebook, I installed this. We have Cydia. And Cydia is actually an app to SD, so we can move some of the apps. We have FM Radio. We have the Calculator, looks normal. Then we have uh, Voice Search and Super SU. That I installed. Take a look here. Have voice memos and Google. So uh, that's it for the apps on the phone. So if you are looking for a phone um, as for daily driver, you should not pick this one because uh, this is only for the design and looks. The hardware, as uh, told in the beginning, is very very low, but uh, you can use it. You can call, you can send SMS, you can uh, use emails, even GPS will work on this device, but the camera is not that good. Again, uh, if you're going to get this phone, you should only get it for because of the design, and it's also funny to show off in the public. So uh, that's it for the review of the Keyphone i6 LTE. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.